Welcome back to another FIFA content review on the channel. I'm Slater. In today's video, I'll review the Team of the Season moments. And I'm going to butcher this dude's name, I think. Mavadidi? Mavadidididi? SBC in FIFA 23. We'll talk about whether he's good or bad value, what chem styles to use on him, what position to play him in. Uh, so I'll go through everything you need to know for this SBC. We also have a new pack out today that I will open in this video. And we have um, a League and Cups. So there's a lot to get into. I'll dive into today. I do hope, though, because it is a Saturday... It's beautiful here in Chicago, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a lovely little weekend. I know there's a lot of stuff to do in FIFA, but I do hope you go out and enjoy your weekend a little bit too. It can be easy to get trapped by the cups and the weekend league content, stuff like that. But I hope you're having a good little Saturday session. Um, I'm going to go out and enjoy some time with some friends too. So I hope you guys are. But let's dive in. Enough of me ranting. Let's get into this thing. So there's a lot to like. And there's a lot to not like about this card. And we're going to go through what we need to work on in terms of chem style. So 93 strength, I really love on the card, but 60 aggression, I don't. Uh, dribbling stats are solid in some areas, but low in others. Like 88 reactions is low. Even 90 bounce, 91 agility isn't that crazy for what some cards have in the game now. But 94 dribbling is really nice. 88 composure is a little bit on the lower side um, for a guy that maybe you can play at striker. And I'll show you that in a second too. Passing is definitely low. 86 vision with 90 short pass and 84 long pass. Shooting sets are good. 96 shot power with 90 finishing and 90 uh, attack positioning is pretty solid with 97 pace splits, which is brilliant. So he also has the outside of the foot shot trait and flair. He can play left mid striker and left wing. So good versatility. English Ligue Montpellier is the team orientations. He's four star, four star. He's six foot. He's high medium. So four star, four star, six foot high medium could be a striker, could be a wing. Let's go figure out over here on Flipin if he's good value. So he's 50,000 coins. Internally, he's an 83 overall team that needs 185 and an 84 overall team that needs 186. The packs back are irrelevant. Okay, so it's very doable. It's a very, very cheap and doable SPC. Has good upvotes because it's cheap and doable and he, ha he has a purpose. Now, a lot of you have crazy OP teams and this card will be irrelevant to you. But if you don't have that, this guy could do a job for you. I think he'd be a really good super sub. I was thinking as a wide cam, he can do really well. If I played him in a wide cam, I'd put an artist on him. Okay, and that sounds crazy. I don't think I've ever said that in this video. But I think his shooting stats are good enough where if we just go, hey, look, I want him to have better vision, great long passing, 99 long passing. I can live with 90 short passing and then boost that reactions up, which we so desperately need. Boost that agility to 99 and boost that dribbling to 99. There's a couple stats where I go, this guy could be a really nice wide card, a wide cam, a winger for my team. I like that a lot. And if I wanted to play him at striker, I would put, I believe, I think a dead eye is what people are going to lean towards. And I totally get that. Maxes out his shooting, maxes out his um, his pass, short passing stats, makes him just a well more well-rounded striker. I do think, even as I'm a 96 rated striker on footbin, which doesn't really mean much, but I do think a marksman is weirdly what I would go with because I like the idea of him having 99 strength. I love the reactions boost. I think that's the, the biggest miss in the card. You need to get those reactions up with 99 ball control and then 99 dribbling and then 99 finishing and 99 shot power. That, to me, makes me a little bit more excited on the card. So I'm a Marksman fan. Deadeye makes a lot of sense. It's striker. If you're playing him on the wing, I would use an artist on Steffi Mavadididididi, or however you say his name. Then we your daily login. Make sure you do this every single day, right? Simplest thing, bronze player. Uh, get that thing done ASAP. And then we have a Tots Challenge 7, which coincides. It says XP because it goes with the League Un Tots Season Swap Reward objective to get you more XP towards your level 30 season rewards, right? This expires in five days. It's a basically a um, a league, a premium league upgrade for the League Un, right? So I'm going to go ahead and complete this for you guys. It's not too bad. It's an 80 overall team with 27 chem. You're best off just doing like one nation or I'm sorry, one league and going from there because you can use a ton of players in the same league. You can only just have max five players from the same nation. So I built a concept here for, um, and I probably could have made it cheaper. I didn't necessarily dive into the detail. Yeah, see, I could have made it a little bit cheaper. I just kind of just made this quickly for you guys to see it um, and, and enjoy it. So here is the eight league impact. We'll open this thing in this video. Um, that doesn't matter to me. So we'll go ahead and skip that. So I just got 1250 XP towards my season rewards, which is always nice, right? Um, and then we'll go over here and we'll go to this part of the game. I hope that I have nothing like in the duplicate pile to stop us from opening this. I think we should be okay. All right, Lee pack. Hopefully we get a tots. We do not. We do get a board, which doesn't think really matters. It's a Schmeichel. So I put an 83 in, uh, and so that for me, we got we got the 83 back actually. When we got a bonus 83, uh, it's whatever, <laughs> it's whatever. I didn't I didn't gain anything from the pack, and I didn't lose it. You know what? I did gain XP, so I guess for me it was a W in some way at the end of the day. 
And then we have a new League Und Cup. So people thought we wouldn't get this because it didn't come out day one. Well, historically, in previous years, it would come out this day and it did come out this day um, during the team of the season. So if you want to go ahead, League Und players, a full League Und team in the TOTS 1 League Cup. You can go ahead and complete this. You get 1250 XP for just playing five matches. Win one match, you get a loan pack. 82, um, I'm sorry, win four, you get 284 plus players. Win seven, you get um, 285 plus players. Nice pack, right? Good chance of something there. Win nine, you get 384 plus players. And of course, you get the group reward of a League Un Tots player pack. So maybe a chance, a, a miracle swing at a Messi and Mbappe and Neymar, all those guys. So there's the content for today. Nothing too crazy, right? We didn't get overwhelmed with content, but there's the content for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'll be back again for another one of these videos like we do every single day on the channel. So thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your Saturday, folks. I'll catch you for a video tomorrow. Peace.